Look at that, girl. I'm talking, I have dry, dry skin. Hi, my pals and new pals. Today's video is my updated foundation routine for dry skin. I've changed quite a bit of my personal uh, daily foundation routine. Uh, I've, you know, do foundation reviews and things like that, but I switch it up to test foundations to see how they perform on their own. This is what I do when I, thank you, when I apply. <laughs> Somehow when the car got further, it got louder. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, for my daily foundation routine, I have very dry, sensitive, irritable skin. And this has been such a like godsend type of routine. I kind of accidentally fell into it. Today we're using some new products and also some old faves. I have switched up how I prep my skin after my skincare. I'm not spot treating with different primers, like in dry areas, I'm not putting a moisturizing primer and then a different primer in another area. I have just been strictly using two of the Jones Road Miracle Balms as my base. And I find that using these products, these Miracle Balms, really kind of like enhances the glow, but it doesn't affect the longevity. If anything, I feel like it grips onto the foundation a little more. Oh, natural. This is just a completely like transparent type of balm. Boosts the hydration. So I take a little bit on my fingers and I will apply Eau Naturale pretty much everywhere, but I will press it into my skin. And I feel like it just gives me, even on my lips, it just gives me like a, another boost of um, moisture underneath my foundation that lasts throughout the day. I feel like I can still feel the moisture going from the Miracle Balm, but it isn't like, when you apply it, you're like, uh-oh, my foundation's not gonna go well over this. It goes over so well, and I just feel like it, instantly hydrates and kind of like seals the skin up before you put anything coverage wise on your face. So if you're wearing a more satin, it might have a little more glow. If you're wearing a matte foundation with this as your skin prep, it will be a little more satin. Really quick, I want to interrupt today's video to thank today's sponsor, Dossier. If you're not familiar with Dossier, I have worked with them before and I absolutely love their fragrances. They offer a more affordable option to high-end designer fragrances. All of their fragrances are inspired by high-end designer fragrances. And to me, they smell pretty much exactly the same. I wanna tell you about today's choices, Ambery Cherry. Now this is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. If you have not smelled this fragrance, it smells so good. It has notes of tart cherry, almond, and vanilla, and I'm not really a person that's like, oh, that's a day fragrance, because a lot of the fragrances I choose to wear seem to be a little like, musky and deep and masculine. This has been my go-to day fragrance. Like I feel like I wear this to be ready for the day. Next fragrance I highly recommend and I chose for today's video is Powdery Hawthorne. This is inspired by Tom Ford's Metallique fragrance. Now this is a fragrance I was not familiar with. I have worn Tom Ford's Lost Cherry before but I have not worn Tom Ford's Metallique and when I read the description, I was like, this sounds like a fragrance that has been missing in my life. And it definitely is. It smells a little bit metallic, but in the best, like most sultry way. The notes on this are Neroli, Orange Blossom, Hawthorne, Vanilla, and Heliotrope. And it just is like such a grown up, like just sexy fragrance. I have nothing that smells like this. And when I wear it throughout the day and it has like sunk into my own like chemistry, it just, it's, just very comforting and just one of my favorite fragrances I've ever worn. Dossier has a welcome 20% off discount code when you make your first purchase. And if you add my code to that, that's an entire 30% off. They also give you 30 days to try out your fragrance. So if you're not happy with it, you can return it. They also have a new payment method called Catch, it allows you to earn store credit. So make sure when you check out, select Catch to get a $10 bonus. I will have my two choice fragrances linked for you below. So so don't forget to get your 10% off dossier. Thank you so much dossier for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get on to it. Oh my God, these smell so good. 
So to kind of underpaint the situation, kind of brighten, bring a little color into my face, I take the Jones Road Miracle Balm in Dusty Rose, and uh, I will take about that much, warm it up in my fingers, and then I will just apply this to my cheeks, and this is actually great. And then if, if you just like apply mascara, it looks wonderful. So I will apply Dusty Rose anywhere I would a bronzer or a blush, which is just cheeks, forehead, chin, nose, and back towards my temples. Now you can wait a second or you can go ahead right away and apply your foundation. I just like to kind of press this into my skin as much as possible. Take a sip of coffee. Then move right into my foundation. Now this is an old school foundation that I have loved since it launched and it's my go-to right now. Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Foundation. If you guys have not tried this and you have dry skin, I've been talking about this since it launched a few years ago for a reason. It is so beautiful and it lasts all day. And this with the Miracle Balm is just like kind of dewy, glowy heaven. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I forgot. This is new too, because usually I will do this step after I apply my foundation. So I got a little, Got a little turn around. The In Beauty Face Glaze. I know old packaging, I'm trying to go through. I have like new ones of this packaging. And I will apply this underneath my eyes and apply it anywhere else. I will apply a highlighter later. Kind of also boosts the glow. This does have a little shimmer in it, but it's so nice underneath foundation. And usually I apply it kind of over as a cream highlight, but this is so pretty just on bare skin as well. Flawless Lumiere, today I'm in the shade 2W1. I'm filming a whole like five week thing of self tanners and right now I'm semi self tanned. So this is the shade we're in 2W1. If I'm not self tanned, I am usually in a one in two. The Shop Masse AOA Wonder Blender Beauty Sponge. This is incredible. And uh, I'm like an avid fan of beauty blenders, but this like doesn't absorb product at all. And it also kind of just lays any foundation over problem areas and pores. I love it. But um, I will just apply Flawless Lumiere right over those products. And this all together, like, I kind of discovered this because I was having a really bad skin day uh, as far as dryness, immune rash, and just kind of like my skin feeling like it's cracking. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to apply my Miracle Balm underneath my foundation. And uh, I had done that before, but like intentionally use it in my foundation routine. And I ended up just really loving this. And I feel like I could see such a difference in the way my foundation goes on, like even applying it over the Jones Road, it's just like it melts faster into my skin. And I find myself, because the Miracle Balm kind of corrects a little, hydrates a little, I'm just going in with just a little more to go on my forehead. Um, I feel like you can use less product. It makes this foundation, which I already love, uh, just it boosts it, this like little routine I got going on. So I'm very excited to have found this routine. I really switched up my routine. I don't know, like a couple years ago, I started more like focusing on the base and under painting. And then I found like once I got to my eyes, everything went so much faster. So I'm gonna use my favorite M Cosmetics, oh my gosh, <laughs> multi place, multi place, so soft bronzer in summer. I can't quit raving about this for a reason. And I will just take this kind of anywhere the sun would hit me. And uh, also underneath my, the tail of my brow just to kind of give me a little faux brow lift there. I love summer because of how, uh, how much coverage you get with this bronzer. Like it's not even um, pigmentation. It's more like almost like a, like a little extra coverage in a way. Like I'm using kind of like a stick foundation as a bronzer, but in the most like beautiful shade. So really just focusing on cream products and kind of like underpainting everything before I get to my eyes. It has really changed the game for me and how quickly I can apply my makeup. Now for blush, I've really been like going hard into the Merit Beauty Flush Balms because of the glow they give. And so I'm using Beverly Hills today. This is just kind of like I'm addicted to this shade. And uh, it really goes well with the Jones Road 
uh, Miracle Balm formula. This is more of like a dewy, glowy, balmy blush. And I like taking the butt of my beauty blender and actually going in to the product directly. And I just apply bl this blush up on my dark circles, on my nose. I kind of like under paint drape, you know? And I do get it on um, the outer portion of my lids and it just makes even my eyeshadow, once I've underpainted everything with cream products, I feel like my eyeshadow looks more blended, especially like on the outer edges. It's just, I don't know. If you go in with only uh, powder products, like after you have your eyes and your, your base, sometimes you can go too heavy and it's like, uh-oh, everything is going down, you know? But like I said, cream products are more forgiving, so you can kind of uh, make mistakes that will be a little more forgiven but this is Beverly Hills and it's just this really pretty peachy nude shade. If you guys have not tried the Flesh Bombs from Merit Beauty, girl, link below. For concealer, I have just really been uh, leaning heavier into the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. It's got a little more coverage, but moves wonderfully with the skin. And uh, also with all of this underneath this, it just, looks so hydrated under my eyes. I really, really love this concealer. And uh, right now we're working with a mini because the full size was sold out. But I kind of like the doe foot on the mini because you can really get into like some nooks and crannies with the concealer. And I'm using the shade cream. This is just kind of a, uh, it's, it's about a one to one and a half shades lighter than my foundation shade but it has a little bit of a pinky undertone to cancel out the blue in, uh, in my dark circles. So this isn't like an exact match for my skin tone. I like going a little pinkier or salmon-y with my concealers to cancel out the darkness. So you could go with less coverage once you like color correct and cancel out any darkness. You can go a little lighter on the concealer. Now that we have concealer on, I'm gonna set my entire face with no not my Dior Backstage Powder No Powder. Going back to my Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder. I recently filmed my essentials from the brand, my top five essentials. And uh, since like pulling those products, I have not put this down. And I've actually been using this more than I have uh, my Backstage. So this is the shade one. When I'm self tanned, normally I would do shade two, but they discontinued it, so. I'm just going to set the center of my face and underneath my eyes with this, and then the rest of my face I'm leaving alone. Candle Glow Powder is like, I don't know, I feel like there's not enough hype around it. It's just one of those products you can really lean on to set your products, your cream products, but not dry your skin out and not look powdery. Like you can keep going with Candle Glow and you're still gonna look, you know, even if you overdo it, you're still gonna look luminous. That's what I love about this powder. And I feel like uh, the Dior powder is wonderful as well, but you get more of a luminous look with Candle Glow. Then, okay, next to set, set my concealer and blur my pores. Normally I would go in with like a pore blurring primer like Laura Mercier's pore blurring primer or I really like the Makeup Forever one. But instead of priming with that, because that sometimes like those silicone-y type of primers can dry out my skin, I have been going in with the Jones Road as like my prep and prime. And then for my under eyes, I have been loving the Laura Mercier Secret Blurring Powder for Under Eyes. And I just press this. Okay, right underneath your uh, lower kind of like fat pad of your under eye and set that as well. So that prevents any creasing if you normally struggle with that. And also it blurs pores and uh, most of my concerning pores to me are like right next to my nose. It's not really a powder I paid attention to a lot ever until recently. So that is everything that I do for my face with underneath my foundation and on top of my foundation. We'll be right back for the rest of those products for the highlight layering and the blush layering because once you get the hang of like underpainting, going right over with other pigmentation, it goes so quickly. It goes so quickly and you actually use a lot less product because you're layering. You're not just like piling on pigmentation. You're like, you know, doing it in steps, kind of like a skincare routine and layering thin layers and your face just looks with all these different 
random layers. It just looks so hydrated and perfect all day. I've really been enjoying using deeper highlights as a blush topper just because it gives such a beautiful glow when you do a light kind of cast layer of a highlight that's deeper than your skin tone, but kind of matches the undertones of your blushes. So today I'm gonna to use the M Cosmetics Sunscape Highlighter in Majesty. Kind of the same tones as Beverly Hills, so I will use it you know, whatever cream blush I'm using, I will use a powder highlight that's a little deeper than my skin tone, but same kind of tones as my cream blush. And this has like kind of a warm peachy shift to it. That's why I feel like it really works. So I'm going to take my Sigma F50 and then I just kind of go in really lightly and go over everything like where I've put bronzer, other highlight, my cream blush. And it really, because these highlighters are meant for um, blurring, actually, you don't get texturized glow. It's just like a lit from within look and it looks really beautiful with glowy makeup. This is the new thing that I've been doing once I have everything on. And because I have been using um, highlighters as over like blushes and bronzers and things, I leave it alone. I want like an all over glow, not necessarily a glow exactly in certain places. And in, that also includes everything else. So to seal everything in, because we did not powder um, our entire face, I have been loving using the Laura Mercier Light Catcher Powder in Celestial Light as an all over setting powder. Light Catcher powders are wonderful because they don't have an overload of shimmer in them, but they can be built up to be glowier and glowier. So I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier powder stippling brush and go into the cap of this. And then I'm just gonna dust this all over my face for an extra glow. Even kind of bring that up underneath my eyes. And just set it everywhere. Then after that, I go in with my Refer 22 and I just blend everything out and together. And I feel like this just makes such a huge difference when you layer other products on top of each other. Going in with a larger powder finishing brush and just blending everything, it's just perfection. And then to set my foundation, I this is not new, but this is like the last step. Uh, I go in with the Patrick Ta She's Thirsty Major Glow Mist. This really does boost any other type of glow, kind of calms any other dry skin that I might have underneath that powder. My camera cut out per usual, but all that to say, wonderful setting mist. And this is the final full face done. And I know that it seems like a lot of steps and a lot of layers, but every single step and every single layer is really, really worth it when you have a dry skin that likes to rear its ugly head underneath your products. Let me know if you guys try any of these steps, something like a miracle balm or some sort of really moisturizing um, balm before you apply your foundation is a game changer. I really can't believe I haven't tried something like that before, but I'm glad I did now because I feel like Foundations that I use, not even just the Laura Mercier, but other foundations with these steps, I'm not seeing uh, my dryness get picked up anywhere. So here is nice up close. Look at that girl, I'm talking, I have dry, dry skin. And this routine, like it looks like this every single time. So for the rest of my makeup, for my eyes, I used the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I have my Lily Lashes Paris on. For mascara, I use the Sephora Big By Definition Mascara. I really love this mascara. Lips, I used M Cosmetics Soft Blur Velvet Lip Pencil. <laughs> And Teddy blurred that out and I went right over that with the lip cushion in Mona Lisa. I love this pairing. It's just like really nice and nude and really moisturizing feeling. 
it's wonderful. That was the rest of my makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, let me know if you try any of these other extra steps. I hope you enjoyed this updated foundation routine. Merch is available, so I will have a link below. There's a lot of exciting things coming this year, so don't miss out. It's a fun, it's a fun time over there. So link below to that, as well as everything I've talked about. I will see you guys in the next one. If you haven't already, check out this video or that video or both videos and don't forget to subscribe. All right.